Action meteorologist Lisa Meadows is tracking Hurricane Harvey for us. Lisa. That's right. It's definitely a system that everyone's been keeping a close eye on in that location. Now, hurricane season goes through November 30th, but we're starting to see an uptick in the activity. Looking out to Galveston, we're seeing a little bit of an issue when it comes to just off the coast. We're going to watch it. That location underneath a tropical storm warning, you have to go a little bit further off to the south before you see where we're really looking at the impact. So here it is. Ra latest radar and satellite picture. You can see that the storm system is close enough to the coast now that we're picking up the rain bands on radar and the satellite picture. Here's where we're seeing the warnings in place. This area in the pink is underneath a hurricane warning. So Corpus Christi. One of the locations that the system right now is looking to make a bullseye. But we have tropical storm warnings and hurricane warnings all the way from the southern tip of Texas in Brownsville all the way up through Houston. Of course, a hurricane warning worse than a tropical storm warning. So this is the area that they're really going to keep a close eye on when it comes to this system. Right now, the system is a Category 1 hurricane, winds 85 miles per hour, and here's the movement here. It's moving north-northwest at 10 miles per hour, so it's feeding off of all these very warm Gulf temperatures, and that's why we're going to have to continue to watch it as it goes throughout those warm temps, making its way toward the coast, getting a little bit closer to Texas. Now, here it is. When it comes to how we forecast these systems, these are all different forecast models. Moral of the story here, they're all going the same way, so that does mean that we have a little bit better when it it comes to forecast verification as to this thing at this time does not look like it's going to make a beeline towards Louisiana. It's more so making its way just into the state of Texas. And here, you, here it is. This is one of our forecast models a little bit further off to the south making its way into the state. And at this time, we're tracking this system. Again, moving all the way from the tropics, it is forecast going into Saturday morning to make landfall along the Texas coast as a Category 3 hurricane. So we're looking at about 100 mile per hour winds or so with this system if the forecast doesn't change. It's definitely something we're going to keep a close eye on as the system gets closer to the U.S. coast. Yeah, thanks for that good and detailed look at that pass. So yeah. Hunkering down. Lisa, thanks.